uh, I have a lot of links here. My, my basic degree is from Kalambo, but my master's is from here, Jampura. And even my wife's Kalambo and Jampura. And my daughter is coming the next batch here. So, a lot of links here. Uh, I, my designation actually is uh, later. I was listening to this uh, uh, debate. One girl spoke about uh, Dano Dirano and the other TV programs. So our DG is here. He put me in charge of those programs. So I was the person who handled those programs. So good to hear about those things because uh, good to hear that uh, you still can remember those programs. Hopefully we can do another, uh, we are planning to do another program uh, uh, before the end of this year, so you can watch this program. And uh, see, I am representing the the government regulator. So the ACC is a government regulator, just like central bank. How they monitor the banking system? System we monitor uh, the capital market. So uh, our objectives are here. It's basically uh, to create and maintain a market which can. Uh, it can be issued at a fair manner. That's our main objective. So, nowhere in the world you get this uh, perfect soft market. So, what we try to do is we try to create a market where uh, securities can be traders in an orderly and fair manner. But if I come and tell you that, you know, all over the world soft markets are free and fair 100%, not a correct thing. And then, we are there to protect the interest of investors. See, if you come and invest in stock market and if you buy shares at 10 rupees and if you sell it at 2, ru uh, 2 rupees, you have an 8 rupee loss. So that's a capital, capital loss. We can't compensate you for that. But if someone takes you for a rise, for example, we can protect your interest. So that's our job. And then we operate a compensation fund and then investors, if for example, a uh, go goes bankrupt, the SEC can compensate that investor. And also, the last objective is to regulate the security market and to ensure the professional standards are maintained. That's one thing that we do. We come and conduct presentation, we go all over the uh, country, conduct presentation, educate general public and even students on the capital market. So these are the objectives of the uh, SEC. And then, this is the completion of the uh, commission. We have appointed members, if we count a central bank, is appointed member of the commission. And then there are six others appointed by the minister. Right now, we command the Ministry of uh, Finance. So our, our Minister is Minister of Finance. And then we have executive members, deputy secretary of treasury, registrar of companies, president of the Institute of Conference. So we, these are the, this is the, uh, policy making body of the capital market. So this is the commission of the FCC. So what they do, they they decide policies and then the stock exchange and then the secretary of FCC implement policies. This is the total capital market. We regulate all these entities. We have only one stock exchange, that's a current stock exchange. Vishanta in his presentation mentioned that in other countries there are few stock exchanges and in India for example they have 26 stock exchanges earlier. So we have the stock exchange, we issue them a license to function as stock exchange in Sri Lanka. And then there are stock companies, there are 20 stock companies, they have obtained license from the ACC to function as a stock broker. And then unit management companies, there are 14 altogether. They also have to obtain license from the ACC. And then we have AD agents, there are two. And then margin traders, underwriters, investment managers, depositories. That's only one industry, that's CDS, central investor system. So this is the total over in the capital market, and we regulate all these entities. There are several divisions at the ACC. I will I will give you an overall uh, picture about the ACC, but during the panel discussions, we can, we, you can ask questions from us because there are very specific things that you want to know from us. And then we have divisions, but then here uh, there are a few divisions. Capital Market Development Division, 
they develop policies for the development of capital market and then we have capital market education training a separate division what they do is they conduct exams so for brokers and then they conduct education programs and then they have corporate data that's corporate surveillance uh, and then exposure that's my division what we do is basically uh, we go and conduct presentations and we do this this is my job I come and conduct presentations and then we speak to media, we write articles about the capital market and then we publish brochures, someone said that the SEC, the book is like 300 rupees but there are free brochures a lot, the other girl said that there are free brochures, there are, there are, there's a lot actually. Even if you come to SEC, we don't sell anything, you can get everything free of cost. There are a lot of brochures, even for students. But there are, of course, there are programs that we charge. And then we have any organization you have this final sentiment division. And then investigation. This division, what they do is, before that I'll go to uh, surveillance division. I have this paper now here. Uh, surveillance division, we monitor the market and then we refer it to investigation. And investigation conduct uh, investigation. So then we have legal and criminal division, they take action, litigate and supervision. So there are several divisions. I will not go into detail, but I will, I will just cover. These are the powers, functions of the SEC. It's basically, for example, I handled surveillance bill last month. We have the power to call anyone and ask for explanation. We can ask anyone to come to SEC, we can summon anyone to ACC and we can question people. So those are the powers that we have. We have the power to grant license to any entity to act as a stock exchange. If you want, we can give another license to another party to, to form a new stock exchange. My personal opinion is that right now Sri Lanka is a small country, we don't need two stock exchanges. But if you go to other countries, there are some countries, there are few stock exchanges. But now in our case, and then we issue license to corporate entities to function as for brokers. And then, stock broker firm I mentioned this, and then stock exchanges, and then unit trust management companies, we like issue them licenses. So this is the function of the SEC. And then we can, we can go to any other any broker firm and conduct inspection. We do that every year, audits. So uh, what we do, we try to keep a fair and orderly market. So we do all those things. I will I will leave this presentation so you can go through these things. What we do is we we maintain, we try to maintain a fair and orderly stock market. Not only stock market, but entire capital market. This last one would grant purposes to any investment suffers because it is that's also and they general uh, to give general or specific directions to any license of exchange. We can do that. We can we can give a directive to a broker firm asking them to follow it. We can give directive to stock exchange asking them to follow it. So these are the powers that we have. To advise the government the development of capital market, that's part of our job, it's up to them to take our advice and then so I can I can go on, it might take more than half an hour so I will leave the presentation but overall I gave you a picture about powers of the SEC and then how do we regulate the capital market? There are, one is the SEC Act. 1987 ACC Act. Now Act is Act is relatively old now. 87 ACC Act. When we when we uh, formed ACC 1987, we didn't have even cell phones. But we are regulating stock market still using this 1987 ACC Act. So time has come to change this Act, and then there's a new uh, Act. It's ready now. It's going to uh, the cabinet. To go to cabinet, cabinet approval. Then to go to the parliament. So most probably. Most probably before this end of this year, we will have a new SEC Act. Our also mentioned about this earlier. And then 
the other rules. We have ACC rules, then for unit trust, we have unit trust regulations, takeoffs and merger code, and then rules marking intermediaries and ACC directives. So this is the way that these are the tools that we use to regulate the capital market in Sri Lanka. And then apart from our, our rules, the stock exchange, they also have their listing rules. For example, when a company is, they, they get into these rules, they have to follow listing rules, and then these are stock broker rules, CDS rules, ATS rules. So these are the rules, those are approved by the ACC. So this is the way we regulate the capital market. And then, you know, any market you get, you get uh, market malpractices. So there are few that I want to touch. One is inside dairy. Uh, you must have heard about Raj Rajaratna, a Sri Lankan, who got caught to inside dairy in US, uh, a Sri Lankan. And then, now basically inside dairy is basically uh, someone trade on price fixed information, but these are not disclosed to the market. So by doing that, they earn a profit or they cut a loss. So that's basically inside dairy. What Rajaratnam, Rajaratnam, what he did was, he got information from different companies. Those were not announced to the market. Those are price fixed information. And then he earned a profit from that. He earned around 55 million US dollars from that. So this is inside a dairy. And inside dairy is not that easy to uh, identify. Because sometimes people don't trade by using their own names, they might use someone else's name to trade. So this happened in any stock exchange in the world, inside the region. Then we have market manipulation, that's to some extent very easy to understand. You create an artificial market, you push the price up gradually and create an artificial market. Or else, or else you put the price down. Or else you put more orders to create some kind of a interest. So that's market manipulation. Then we have watch sales. That's basically in one transaction, you get both parties, the buyer and seller, the same person. So sometimes that happens. And then front running stock brokers, sometimes on and off, they do this. Before a big transaction or before a big order, what they do is they execute their orders. And then after that, they implement their, execute their uh, other orders. For example, if I have a uh, large investor, high net investor. If he asks me to buy shares, without buying those shares, first I go and buy shares for myself. And then I go and execute the order, la order later, then earn a profit from that. And then immediate and undisclosure of price and sale information. That is also, these are the uh, specific of offenses that can be seen in India in the world, not only in Sri Lanka. I will not go into detail, but then it is trading in the shares of this company while it is in the position of unpublished by sector information. In respect of single things and the same company, we need to make a profit or avoid a loss. So it's basically, there are a few things you can understand here. One is the first part is trading part of research shares based on unpublished information <coughs> and then those should be price sensitive. And then by doing that, you cut a loss or earn a profit. So this is inside a dealing. And then market manipulation, what I said earlier, creating a false or misleading market. I explained this earlier also, front running. I will not go into detail. Uh, these things I will I will I will leave my presentation. You can try, and then we have a buffer session fund. This was the guaranteed company for any investor. For example, say if the broker firm we have in Sri Lanka, when you when you buy shares or when you sell shares, you will get your money in three market days. What will happen during those three days if that broker firm? If they can't pay you that amount, if they go, say for example, if they go bankrupt, 
So someone has to pay you that amount. The amount that you have to get from the software company. Then in that case, the SEC will pay you that amount. We have never ever used this fund up to now. So the capital market roadmap is basically what I mentioned earlier, the new SEC Act. Hopefully, we will get a new act uh, during this year. The other one is the SC, stock exchange neutralization. Uh, Nishanta did cover that part. What we are doing is basically right now the stock exchange is owned by its members to some extent. Those are the stock brokers. And also, it's not a profit company. So, we are trying to change this stock exchange from member owned to shareholder owned. And also, from non profit to profit oriented. So then there will be shareholders of the stock exchange. This also most probably will happen during this year. So in other countries, hopefully, uh, students like you will be able to buy shares of the Kalama stock exchange through the Kalama stock exchange to go for a IPO, new share issue. So that's the difference. And then uh, our DD spoke about these things. The third one, and then we have developed unit trust industry that we are working on it, and then we have the corporate debt market. This is the future for the capital market. And then the SEC new web. Right now we have only the new web to mitigate the new web. Right now we have only given powers to uh, take a person using criminal power, criminal sanction. But then here uh, the new SEC Act will give us not only criminal powers but Civil and administrative powers both. Just want to uh, show you this. Uh, we got it from uh, this is from Israel SCC what they have done. Uh, the capital market from inside it looks so much better, but outside not that you know, so that attractive. But you have to come into the capital market to see the attack in the capital market. I am not here to market the capital market, it's not my job. There are so brokers here, but I am just mentioning this. There are a few interesting sites that are, we have. See, you don't need to go to medicines, that's like a few Sri Lanka is medical college. In order to be a part of big pharmaceutical company, you can own a company, even if you buy one share. See, even if you buy one share of uh, Galdari Hotel, you can go to Galdari Hotel and say that I am owner of this company. You can say that. You can go to the reception and say that, okay, yeah, I am owner of this company. Because technically that's correct. Even if you buy one share, because if you are owner of the company, you are owner own of that company. You have the right to go to the AGA, you have the right to go and vote at the AGA. So, those are the powers as a shareholder. must have seen this, the story behind this. That's basically what we always say, that's my job. Uh, I heard during the debate, uh, you said uh, that in Sri Lanka, uh, financial literacy around 30 minutes, that's correct. Uh, but if we take our normal literacy it's around 93-94%. And then about the capital market, Knowledge is not that high that we accept, but then probably around when I joined the, I, I joined the stock exchange first. So after joining stock exchange, I was there for 16 years and joined the SEC. So I have experience in both the regulator and the regulatee. See, things have changed. If you go to, there were times probably around 2010, 2011 period, from a total market turnover, we got around 21% from the branch network of stock exchange. Those are small time investors. Those are not big investors. Right now, if you take out total market turnover, it's around 55% is coming from domestic investors. Uh, personally, I don't agree that they don't, we don't have like uh, a correct platform for investors to get information. We have. But then there are things that we can do more and to get information. Because anyone can go, you go to CSD website or so go the website and get information and trade. But the issue is right now, people don't know how to trade. In Sri Lanka, we are, we are a saving nation. See, 
even at our school level, we teach students to save. Sathik sathik thuru kara. But we don't, we don't teach students to invest. That's the biggest issue that we have in Sri Lanka. So that might take some time, we have been trying, but might take some time for those people to change from savings to investment. Instead of invest, investing hours in calculating how much Messi earns for me, that's a football player. Why don't you invest an hour figuring out what has happened to your money in the capital market? What we do is, what we do is basically we tell investors if you invest in the stock market, at least spend around half an hour every day to check what has happened to their shares. In the stock market, if you play casino, don't play casino in the stock market. We always ask, this is not an investor presentation, but we always ask investors when they come to the market, don't play casino. Uh, these are the things that we do. We do a lot of articles. Every week we publish an article. We have published actually three articles in three languages. And then we work with Daily Mirror, we work with other newspapers, we work with Tamil Mirror, we publish articles, different articles. Someone mentioned this. When I came here, I heard about this. I think the Gambia who had this. Some, someone mentioned this. So this is my presentation. Uh, during the panel discussion, you can ask any question on the capital market. My PG will be here, I'll be here, and then we will stop catching what we are now. So we will answer about the stop also. Thank you.